free to play. Hello everyone and welcome to free to play PC games look at Pirates Treasure Hunters, a new action MOBA uh, released this month on Steam. It is a free to play game and we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the standard online mode. Uh, looks like there's only for standard one map available, the Skull Temples, and we'll go ahead and uh, join up here. Alright, so we just got dropped into a game here, and I am going to select one of the free-to-play players here when I can select somebody. Alright, so I'm going to pick Governor Matley here, and really quick I'm going to run through the skills. So the first skill is Rocket Rain, uh, reduces time between shots and suspends ammo consumption. Uh, so you unlock that one right away, level 1. Uh, at level 8 you get Spy Eagle, shows you and your teammates all enemy positions on the map. Uh, at level 16 you get Gold Fever, uh, disables movement and attacks of surrounding enemies. And that's an area of effect that goes around your character, so they have to be relatively close to, uh, uh, to get that off. Uh, weapons, so the, the, the rocket launcher is what uh, this character has called the Golden Lion. Uh, the rockets follow the target slightly and explode, generating a damage area. Also has a melee weapon, the Governor Baton. Uh, melee attack, after each hit the enemy can only walk for a limited time. And then the metal shield, the shield resistance comes from the amount of damage absorbed by the shield. So we'll click ready. And then you also have available to you through the, the shop and buying uh, what the, the currency that you earn in game, silver here. Um, I'm going to add this spell here, Mana Rain. What it does is it helps to recover all my mana and then remove the cooldown time of all your skills. Okay, and so that's on a cooldown as well. So you can see that. And I'm ready to go. And we're about to get into the game here. So if you're a, a MOBA veteran, um, even if you're not, you know, be watching the the aspects that are similar, but also different than uh, what you're used to. I think what you'll find is the game goes very quickly. Um, you're very quickly either on offense or defense, moving towards uh, getting their towers down, um, and also watch how you have to kind of move around through the map using the vehicles, not only the ground vehicles, uh, but as you'll see also on the water. Um, the other thing that I would say to pay attention to is the way that uh, the turrets, and uh, I call them the cannons, but it's more like a, uh, uh, a rapid-fire gun that can be used not only defensively, uh, but offensively as well. So uh, just some things to, to be aware of. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of different uh, things different from you know your standard MOBAs, Dota, League of Legends, you know, Heroes of the Storm. Um, but then there's going to be some similarities as well. Uh, one thing is that you can get um, picked off and put into the wrong position, uh, be out of position very quickly. All right, so you're going to use the WASD keys to move around here and then the cursor is where you're actually pointing your weapon so you can do that here. So as you can see there's three towers right in the bottom middle we have the uh, percentages of the health of the towers and my team here it's very important uh, so far in the games I've played that you really stick together I know that's kind of a, a running theme through MOBAs but especially here just because of uh, especially my character, I'm a more of a ranged character, so I can very easily get you know, put out of position. Okay. So someone has to be in this circle here, and then we can actually start to destroy their towers. And we're getting a very, very good uh, start off here, but as you can see on the map, down there in the bottom right-hand corner, they are working on our towers. So sometimes people stay to defend, sometimes it's just an all-out push to go. Okay, in the bottom right hand corner above the F4 skill there you'll notice a little red line and that is the ammo. So one thing to pay attention to is that uh, you have to keep re replenishing your ammo. And as you can also see I have upgrades here so you can see the alt. The alt button lets me know I can go through and, and basically uh, pump up any of my skills, my weapons here, the shield, health, mana, my speed, and then my armor as well. But I'm gonna, I am going to pump up my weapon. I got back healed up and I'm gonna go help out and push this through. So we are winning the battle here for the tower but uh, they're still doing a lot of damage. I want to make sure that and I'm about to run out of ammo here. Let's see if I can stay out of people's way and then I'm just gonna hit E to activate that. And we gotta watch out for these spiders as well they're defending if you haven't already noticed that. That's important. So 
do. Alright, now you need to back out of here. Oh, see, very, very far. Out of position, very quickly. Alright, and I gotta make sure I don't fall too far behind in the uh, the levels as well. I wanna make sure staying up. So they got the, uh, the hold on us, and they're gonna take out the first bottom tower. And they were able to push us out of that, that top area, so we need to really, uh, to get on it. Alright, leveled there, so we got another access to another skill. And I'm going to use some speed, because I hate being slow on this map. Well, on really on any map. Alright, let's take out their tower so we can be even. Sure, these spiders aren't doing too much work on me here. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, and I'm ran over by the vehicle. Oh, that was an easy, easy kill. And he is just leveling up like crazy. Already five levels up on me, and most of the team here just going around squashing people. That's not cool. So whoever that has been doing work to get up nine. Get to nine levels, wow. So we're gonna have to keep them out of here. here. Oh, oh. I wanna get that again. We're gonna have to do some real work here to get these guys out of here. So you really have to just try and catch the, the rest of their team out of position when you can. And then as you can see, use the vehicles to your advantage. And stay away from the guys using the turrets here. See if we can go and use some... Oh, oh and I got caught out from behind there, as you can see. My team started going towards the, the towers there to get that last 2%. So I need to start doing a better job here, staying on, staying on point. Not getting caught out of position so much. Like I said, especially because of my... My talents being uh, more range have to stay out of the people's way here. And already being down so many levels, it seems like my, my whole team too. And I have a long enough you know, damage range to actually be effective, but, but still it's hard because of just the, the sight line. You, you, you feel like you're not really aiming at anything in particular, but like, look at this, I'm still getting damaged. Just from so far away, there's nothing I can really do there. Alright, so they're taking our second tower there, so that was quick, and we still haven't gotten their first tower. And they're moving towards that middle tower, looks like. And again, just with the... My experience so far is even if you're one level up on somebody, you're going to two, two versus one that team. And that's something that's just, it's just been really frustrating playing so far as you get one or two levels behind. There's almost, you know, very little of a catch-up mechanic. Able to get that first guy there, but again, just that vehicle is just so powerful just to be able to, to run someone over and, and, and get a kill like that. Just, And then they get another level out of it, too. Hmm, seems like I can't run people over there. One minute until the galleon arrives. And boy, this is getting even more frustrating. They use that turret very, very well. Double kill. I'm not really sure what the rest of the team here is doing here. All right, we'll get back out of here. Stay away from those guys if we can. And they're going to go to our tower. So we got two bottom here, kind of no man's land. And uh, we need help defending up here, really. I'm not sure what those guys are doing there. Boy, if we could just get one kill. Be nice. The galleon will arrive soon. Yeah, there's just no way I can go into that. I mean, she's nine. She's gonna get killed easy with the by the twelve and eleven and a ten. You just can't go three on one. We've got two people kind of hanging by base, and 
two on the other side of the map just going in to get killed for no reason yeah. see again down one level you know two for one now that's that's rough I mean that's that's basically you just can't come back from that once you get down you know a level or two And again, I know that uh, I'm s still starting off the game, getting caught in out of position a lot. You know, to be expected when you're when you're first starting out something new, especially with how quick and and uh, how long some of the the ranges are on these weapons. But it's just incredibly frustrating. I mean, I just can't, I can't do anything. I can't get out of the 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 starting area here. You know, and and all of here is gonna two v one all day. I mean, she can just kite all day. Look at that. Rampage. All right, finally looks like somebody got her. But yeah, I mean, like up six levels. I mean, he's he's gonna be able to prance around and do whatever the heck he wants. Well, <laughs> let's see if we can get him three v one here. What do we have to do to kill this hitman? Well, I'm gonna swim and catch him. So they got the control of the big ship here, and you can see the cannons just does huge amounts of damage. So when they've got it up here against our shore, uh, we're in big trouble. See if I can use it to some effect to defend here at all. We got the vehicle coming over here. Man, look at this range. Let's see if I can catch them coming over here. Oh, here we go. All right. Now let's. There we go. Oh, kill him! Kill him! So they're coming, so we still need to be able to... Oh, I need somebody to move this out of the way. Yeah. So I'm just kind of a sitting duck there if I'm not getting any defense. And she's coming for me. I have nothing I can do about that. Yep. So I had three people on my team there on that in the boat, and she just went right for me. Still got that tower up. Got about a third of it left. Yeah, see, if I get into a one on one with any of these people, it's just, I mean, it's game over. So I really have to wait for teammates. See if we can get. Come on, give me a few kills here. All right, there we go. But now I'm lost to three others. Yep. So, like I said, very. Uh, I don't know if it's faster paced than other ones, uh, other mobas necessarily, um, but it's just. It's just very, very much you're all over the place, and and again, I think part of it is is the levels. You you're getting so much of an advantage quickly, and w when you're not around your team. I mean, look at this, just completely off the map. I can't even see. Rampage. I mean, is that what? It, what is that? You have lost the last totem. Prevent the enemy from closing your pit. And I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, I don't, you know, against, against any of that. I 
It's pretty much uh, come out of the starting area, get killed, repeat. Seems to be not as powerful when I have it. Another team has it, they run over me and kill me instantly. I die. Alright, so they're on to our Bastion. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what that is here. So they got our three towers down. They're working on the Bastion here. That's where the green light's coming from. So what they have to do is go down to the bottom of the map there, uh, turn on the gate. The uh, gate will cover up this lava area and allow them to come over and basically start to kill our Bastion. So there goes the gate. We have to guard our Bastion now. Get at least one of them down. Got one. We get two. I wonder if we can defend long enough to try and catch up in some levels here. See what kind of. Boy, I mean, I know it's five levels, but dang. He just he's just getting away with. And of course, Akbar's there to uh, kill me from off screen. Boy, I gotta say, whatever character that is, that is just not fun. <laughs> so I'll show you guys here. What they need to do is basically turn this uh, wheel here without us uh, getting in their way, and then that. Uh, Uh, not the drawbridge, but the, the gate comes down and they can work on getting our bastion. I just want to kill all at one time. One time. Nope. Oh, it's the melee. Oh, and then I run into three of them. Yep, that's going to be it. We were going back and forth for a minute there, but... Oh, that was a nice little move there. Your bastion is unprotected. All right, eighty-eight percent of our bastion left. This is our last stand here. Give me a chance here. Give me one one time. Now you're gonna kill me from across the map. Okay. Across my screen. That bastion's open, but they seem to be taking a lot more pride in uh, just repeatedly killing us. I don't blame him going AFK. This is this has been a little bit of a of a butt kicking. So let me get one kill. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, all right. Got one. Well, at least I haven't died the most times. That seems to be something I can take pride in. And I didn't give up, unlike. Tanto pronto. No giving up. Keep the fight going. Then we have one guy on our team across the map here. Just uh, not sure what they're doing, but I'm sure it's important. They're really taking their sweet time, too, to finish off this game. I 
They're not even near this place. Oh, all right. Got another one. A little motive, bit of a morale boost, and then we got three coming here. Let's see if we can do anything. Come on. Come at me. Not you. Not you, Akbar. You get out of here. Kill me from across the dang screen. I think I just need to play as that character. I think that'll just, uh, that'll fix Double the ills. Alright, there they go. Start chunking away at our Bastion. 30%. 20. See if I can even spawn to help out. 10. No, that's going to be a good game. Alright, so I know the game was a little bit sloppy, but this game is fun. It, it fast paced. Um, you know, some different aspects, some different gameplay feel to it. So, you know, I'll definitely check it out. Download it. It's on Steam. It just came out this month. Uh, again, it's called Pirates Treasure Hunters. And um, hopefully I'll see you online and we can get some games in. So leave a comment. Uh, make sure you subscribe as well. And uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend.